Now for a point of sale, obviously we have uh, all the different integrations built in. So if I go to getrate.com forward slash integrations, if I remember the URL correctly in there, um, there's a whole lot of, uh, of, of point of sale providers that we already connect with. Um, and you can definitely bring in the data, but if, if it's not one of these products or if it's calendar booking system, well, one of the uh, app that I really like, and, and this is actually how the uh, deputy internal graphics are, um, are done, is we, um, deputy is actually available as an app in Zapier. And um, in Zapier, what you can do, you can actually take um, any data from 1,000 different apps they have, like in a Google Calendar, Office 365, or something like that, and automatically create um, what I like to call is a, a sales data inside, inside Deputy. Now, it is called sales data in Zapier, but it can be, um, the sales data has different attribute to it. An attribute to the sales data, it can be the fact that it's a coffee sold, or it's a sandwich sold, or it's actually purely sales in there. So yes, uh, you can link up your Google Calendar service or any other booking calendar service to Zapier and from Zapier drive that drive that into, um, into deputy in there. I believe I've, I've, I've answered that in terms of like, you know, how you can go and, and manually put in the data or have the capability of your, uh, of, of your prediction in terms of how you are doing that. Uh, for seasonal, I think same period last year would be the best way to, to, to look at it. Or, you know, I mean, businesses usually transform. They, one thing about business is that, you know, you're always continuously growing the ever it's actually static in there um, and if it's uh, if it's uh, in, in, a, in a growth mode you definitely want to put it in like you know in, in last two periods but you can also cater for the fact that you know you can go into that specific metric and um, bulk update every figure by a specific percentage uh, um, in there your data is your property we do not do anything with it we do not actually take the data or do anything like Facebook with Cambridge Analytica or anything like that at all. Matter of fact, it's your data. And if you want to see what data actually a deputy has imported, you can always go into, um, and we'll publish this uh, as part of the help documentation. I believe it's already in there. You can see what data has been imported into deputy by going to this um, URL we have. Uh, let me just quickly go in there from memory. You can actually go in and see every bit of sales data that has been imported already into into deputy and matter of fact you can you can clear all the data out uh, right from there and, and remove it if, if you want to 100 percent possible it's not necessarily an auto scheduling thing you would put that as a stress profile um, in deputy and you can put in in the stress profile in deputy is the fact that hey, uh, you don't want to, um, you know, minimum hours gap between two shifts you can do in there. Um, it actually also has capability in putting in scripts that, um, and many of our customers actually use it where, hey, they were only doing say three days, but um, having, if they do three night shift, they're getting two days off, for example, that kind of scenario. So yes, it is capable of, of covering those kind of scenario and having to help out. It's not out of the box, but definitely capable to the extensive capability of deputies. Uh, um, scripting capabilities. How would I go um, uh, cover that in there? Once again, this is something that is possible um, through the scripting capability on, on, our, stre uh, on our stress profile. Um, definitely something that, you know, you want to provide a fair number of hours to your employees so that, you know, they are, people are getting weekends off sometimes and having a life or those who want to earn more money over weekends, they're doing that. Um, we're taking a note of that thing and we'll definitely publish it in the blog in terms of how you can, how you can go and implement that in deputy um, in there as well. Um, great question. Yes or yes and no. Definitely you can um, do it through, um, uh, through advanced recipes. But the way I would actually um, try to solve it, if it was myself in there, is that I would actually go and uh, create the area separately in terms of the, the part-time doctors as, as full-time doctors and yet have the, um, you know, the maximum number of uh, required staff now not exceeding um, a certain value. And I would be rostering them um, in those specific departments um, accordingly in there. That would be the easy, easy way of achieving this straight of the box. 
But the complex way of doing it, or the more advanced way of doing this would be, yes, uh, through a recipe, is that always prioritize full-time staff member in giving a shift, as opposed to giving that to part-time staff members in there. Look, this is a, a support question on the Zapier uh, connectivity issue. Uh, please reach out to us in, the, uh, um, uh, in our uh, support chat system, and we'll definitely uh, look into it uh, look into it for you. We, we use Zapier quite uh, heavily ourselves um, in there. Every bit of metric that I was showing you um, in here actually is driven from Intercom and, 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 and Zapier straight into Deputy. So let me go and demonstrate that. So if I go into monthly mode, And I will, for example, go into next month in May. Okay. Now, um, I may have been provided some information. I may not have been provided some information. So what I will do over here, say for the first day of the month, I can go in and um, you know enter some some data over here, whatever that might be. Like I'm, I'm expecting to uh, really, really sell a lot of coffees that month. Okay, I'm putting the data in there. Um, and then, as opposed to saving the data for this Tuesday, 1st of May, you can actually save it for the entire, um, entire view in there, okay? Or entire, uh, and in this case, for the, for the week in there, and I can go and when I press the button, it will actually go, not just for that day, it will save it for that whole week. Other way of doing the same thing over here will be the fact that, hey, you go and upload that information uh, directly in a CSV file. Um, and um, or or have some level of integration uh, through Zapier or by Dropbox where we're we're importing the data in for you. Yes, uh, that's definitely definitely possible. These are that these are the things that advanced uh, uh, recipes are capable capable of doing. Uh, and and by the way, these are these are great questions. I mean, obviously we're not. Uh, it's one of those things. I mean, at Deputy we want to make sure that it's it's very very simple and easy to use but it's not like 10,000 different checkboxes you can, um, you can put in. And every business is run very, very differently. Um, but to, uh, to answer and answer this question, there's, there's part product, there's part customization, there's part business that actually uh, all three together actually solve this problem. So uh, if you wanna actually uh, set up individual staff profiles for set days off, that is achieved through like, you know, putting people's um, um, unavailability into the system in there. The minimum contract hours, um, uh, once again, is something that the advanced recipes will be, uh, will be covering in there. And rotating, rotating shift in different locations. Look, on that note, um, hey, I, I will work three days over here, four days over uh, on the other place. Yes, once again, advanced recipes is, is capable of, of doing that. But if the business is already so determined in terms of how it will function, I, in my opinion, the best way to solve this is actually is using templates, not necessarily auto scheduling. Auto scheduling is more about the fact that, hey, um, your very business has very variable demand in there, and that's how you're driving that. But 100% auto scheduling is capable of, 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 of doing what you are after through, through the recipes. But out of the box right now, you can achieve all these functions, uh, uh, questions you have asked purely by setting um, setting uh, stress profiles, unavailabilities, and specific templates uh, for the business. The way we, once again, we do this is not by setting a set schedule, but you can actually go into deputy and, and, and for example, uh, put in their availabilities in there. So you don't go say that, hey, this is when, I'm, this is when they want to work. You set in the fact that, hey, they don't want to work on, for example, on weekends at all. And, um, and I can actually have it that, hey, repeats forever in there. This employee will not ever come up as recommended on weekends. You can go and override it if you like, but it, it's definitely covered through um, having that as a, um, as a stress, uh, sorry, as a, as a employee preference in there. Prediction is something that is um, not necessarily easy to get right. It, it's something that we're continuously working in, in, in making better. Your historical sales will, should be accurate in terms of what, what you have in any point of sale and, and what you have in, in, in deputy. And 
If it's not right, please uh, I can reach out to support and we will investigate to find out why it's not right for you. But based on what you have done in past is what we'll be using for predicting what will, what will happen in future. And you can set that with, whether you're using last two weeks, four weeks, or you know, all time in there. Historically speaking, it's, set, it's probably set at all time um, uh, uh, in your configuration. So please feel free to go modify it and make it last two weeks or last, last four weeks in there. The more data you put into Deputy, the better it will be. So um, as I was saying, like when it comes to um, auto scheduling, we are actually not going and um, trying to, for example, I'll, I'll go back into uh, the weekly mode in there. Um, we are actually, we're actually never going to go and put a non-recommended employee into a shift. And this is a bit of uh, uh, background information how, um, how uh, scheduling is done in Deputy, is that when I actually go create a shift, the deputy will automatically recommend who are the people that can work in the shift. Now, to, to do this recommendation, deputy does about six separate checks. Number one, these employees are not double booked to work somewhere else. Number two, they are actually um, you know, um, available. For example, uh, they haven't got a planned vacation that has been approved or they're not, for example, they haven't submitted an availability saying that I don't want to come to work or something like that. Uh, number three, they, it will actually check that the fact that they're trained and qualified to work in theirs and in deputy, you can go in and obviously uh, establish that, you know, what are the training room and to, to be able to work in there, you must have this training, for example, in there and you can go and set up unlimited little, uh, uh, number of trainings in there. Uh, so yes, you need to be trained and qualified to work in that area. And finally, you, um, you know, if you want to have it, the fact that they are preferred to work in the area. Now, training and preference work uh, kind of exclusively, because I might have my whole workforce trained, but I only want these three employees to work in the VIP area, for example. That's how, that's how preference actually works. So it, it, it will do, every time you create a shift um, in, in deputy, it actually does all six separate checks over here to recommend who are the people that can work in that shift in there. So uh, yes, the more data you provide into deputy, in terms of uh, these boundaries and requirements, the better the deputy scheduling will, will function. 100%, uh, you, can, and you can do that. You can definitely go um, add a metric that your what is, deliveries you are expecting. And, and then based on that, you can have additional staff members at that time who needs to be there to cater for that care for those deliveries in there. Yes, that is uh, truly uh, doable. Yes, uh, in a sense, what's happening over here is that, um, uh, like, I mean, every time, every time we are uh, recommending staff member, we, sorry, every time we are putting a staff into a shift, um, we are never going to put somebody who is not recommended to work in that area. So if the employee actually has uh, leave that is approved, then yes, they won't be coming up in, um, in the recommended summary. But if the leave actually is declined or pending approval, then yes, they might get, um, uh, might get scheduled uh, for that shift. So, but if you have approved that shift, when you, if, if, the shift, if the employee has been uh, rostered for a shift by auto scheduler, and when you're approving that leave, in deputy, we can actually see that, hey, by approving this leave, these are the shifts that are gonna be uncovered for. You are actually capable of automatically turning those shifts into open shifts for other employees to get, or leave them as empty shifts. And you know what, after you leave them as empty shift, you can just come in and run an auto scheduler again and it will um, you know, cover those shifts for you automatically in there. No, uh, if you can schedule, you are capable of, of, of running the um, uh, uh, auto builder uh, in place. But if you are supervisor level um, access in there, you, probably will not get to able to, will not be able to see some of the metric now for example when i actually add a metric in deputy you will see that there's two kinds of metric one is like you need figures this is like you know in respect of dollar figures i'm selling 10 coffees versus five coffees or i have that many bookings in there or you can you have dollar amount you can have as many different kind of metrics as you like uh, in there if you are supervisor level access where you can't see, for example, uh, cost figures in there, you won't be getting visibility into the, uh, the dollar figures uh, or dollar figure metric in there. So 
Um, that's the only permission restriction in there. But if you, obviously you're a location manager, administrator, or in deputy enterprise, you have really said the fact that, hey, they can view cost in there. Yes, you're capable of, of, of seeing that in there. We're happy to like, you know, revisit that option with discussion with customers. We're a very agile company. Um, and we know that you, you don't get everything right in one go. So we constantly listen to our customers and, and um, you know, provide options on how we can improve. So uh, absolutely, uh, that's something that uh, we'll, we'll happily listen, in, listen to our customers for. Great question, great question. Right now, the way we work in deputy is that, hey, you are actually only, you can't be in two different places. So you can't be working across two different departments at the very same time. To where, in order to achieve that, what you, you need to actually probably create a combined department in the sense that, hey, if you work over here, you're actually performing both functions at the same time. And you can, you can cater for that uh, in that, um, through that department setup. But uh, look, I mean, this is something that uh, we are actually working on in terms of future updates where, um, you know, I mean, the best cost savings in businesses come when you actually get to cross utilize your workforce into multiple different functions as opposed to make it really, really function uh, specific. And uh, in deputy right now, the only way to do that is you create a combined department and you know, assign, like you know, assume the responsibilities of this combined department that they are actually covering two separate things at the same time. But in future, um, we will be working on um, a product update where, uh, you know, hey, you might be working in just this department, but by working in this department, you're actually covering the needs for these other departments in there. Something that we have, uh, we are working on right now. And um, yeah, th this is the exact scenario and kind of questions that we, uh, problems we want to solve for our customers. In deputy, if there is an employee who actually has shifts in there and um, for example, you need to, like um, um, they have left the business, you discard an employee record. And when you discard that employee record, you actually get to see all the different shifts that are um, you know, pending in there. We actually don't, um, you know, uh, recommend termination because they, at, at that point, until those shifts are handled, where you, from that screen, you can quickly jump straight into that shift, for example, and you can put that shift into um, a separate employee. And, and one of the best ways of doing this is if I actually go into say, um, monthly mode, um, let's just say Aaron uh, is somebody who, who is going to uh, move on from the business. I'm going to find Aaron shifts. These are all the shifts Aaron has got scheduled in this um, in, in the month of April. I can actually go and uh, and do bulk update. And bulk update, what I want to say that hey, these are all the Aaron shifts over here, and I'm going to go and give it to, for example, David Kidd, and apply update. And this will actually take all of Aaron shifts and put to uh, put to put to David. Or even better, I can actually now now this is the power of auto scheduling clicking in. I actually will go and um, remove Aaron from all the shifts, okay? Now all those shifts actually is automatically removed from Aaron. And you can see there's a bunch of uh, uh, empty, empty shifts that are sitting that Aaron actually, Aaron actually already had this done these two shifts. So I can remove that. Um, and now I can actually turn all those, um, uh, all those shifts over here into um, open shift uh, by, by, going into, uh, by going into those shifts in there. Or I can actually, um, just auto fill these empty shifts. And then you don't, I don't have to worry about who's gonna pick up Aaron's shifts in there. It will be automatically uh, put into other people in terms of whoever uh, doesn't, have, uh, doesn't have those shifts in there. 